Well, hello fellow beer lovers and welcome to Of On My Beer Reviews. My name is Daniel. My name is Zeb. Today we're going to drink this Icky. <laughs> it's an IPA. It's an Ichthyosaur IPA from Great Basin Brewing Company in Reno, Nevada. Um, I was there recently, picked this bottle up, shipped it home, along with a few others. And uh, anyway, Icky is kind of a funny name for a beer. It sounds kind of icky, but it's, uh, I think it's their flagship IPA, if I remember correctly. It's you know, hard to remember all the details. I guess I could have looked it up, as you could. Um, what else? Did you say it's ABV? It's ABV is 6.4%. Uh, Thanks, helper guy. And, uh, <laughs> looks nice. So they say the ichthyosaur is the official state fossil. Who, who knew even such thing existed? Yeah, I didn't. I wonder if we have an official state fossil, what would it be? I don't know. Mm. Anyway, appearance? Just a little hazy? Okay. I got the bottom, so mine's a little more hazy than yours. It's a little, a little hazy, yeah. Yeah, um, kind of orange. Yeah, a little off-white head. Mm -hmm. Very, well, mine was real small, but... Yeah. Smells like grapefruit. Yeah, it smells like grapefruity and uh, kind of bready, too. It smells nice. Yeah. Do you have a say? Doesn't smell icky at all. <laughs> no. Probably going to make that joke like 17 more times, so... <laughs> Shlanta. Shlanta. Did you try this when you were there? Do you remember? I don't remember. That's um pretty mellow as far as IPAs go. Yeah. Hmm. Take another sip. Yeah. It's uh. I'm getting a lot of green. Yeah, I get some citrus up front, but a lot of like grain flavors too, like yeah. I get breadiness and kind of like some biscuitiness. So yeah, so it's not, it doesn't appear to be like a typical IPA, like boom, you know, hops. It, toward the end I get a little more citrus flavors and into the aftertaste, but there's like, the middle is almost non-existent hops. Yeah. It's almost kind of hot at the end too, it's weird, like it heats up a little. Mm. Huh. Yeah. Mm. It's interesting. interesting. Doesn't taste icky either. Mm -mm. It's a good. It's it's an interesting and different flavor. Um, not different. I mean, it's the hop flavors are pretty standard IPA stuff. You know, grapefruit or whatever you have. Sometimes you know you get yeah. other flavors, but the the big grainy middle is actually nice. It's a nice like nice change. Yeah, <laughs> for an IPA. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah after a while. Uh, in fact, when I was out, out west, it was like, uh, I got, kind of got IPA'd out there. Everybody had, well, I think I said that in another review, with every brewery I went to had at least four IPAs on tap. It was crazy. That's crazy. Huh. Uh, they say here it's a bold marriage of malt and hops, well-balanced and richly aromatic. Uh, it is a good marriage, and it is it's very well-balanced. Uh -huh. And aromatic. Yeah, that too. Yeah, it smells nice. Smells nice, tastes good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's one word. I can't add a lot more. We have a few more of their beers to review. It was a neat place. Mm -hmm. uh, the food was good. The beer was very good. Um, yeah. It was fun. So if you're in Reno, check it out for sure. Um, Mouthfeel. Either grainy or carbonated. It's pretty, yeah. It is pretty carbonated. It is. I was thinking um, that myself. I really was. But it's also a little grainy in the mouth. You know, I think either one of those is acceptable. Okay. I'm with you on that. Yeah. Uh, drinkability. I think it's very drinkable. Sure. It doesn't taste like 6.5%. It tastes lower. That always helps your drinkability. If it doesn't taste it, <laughs> I mean, the Grand Six and a Half isn't a big alcohol, it's a big ABV, but 
But it's a... Uh, yeah. If you drank that whole thing on your own, you'd probably feel it. Yeah, I would imagine. Be pretty well hammered. It's good it's stuff. Awesome. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Um, get a reading? Uh... Let me just have another sip and do my brain. Sip away, sip away. Yeah. I am uh, giving it a 4.5. I was also giving it a 4.5. Yeah. Um, it's good. It's it's good. It's very good. It's yeah. just not... It's not, like, great. It's not, <laughs> the, you know, it's not the best. Yeah, there's something, something peculiar about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. It's still very good. Though. Yeah, I, mean, I shouldn't say peculiar. It's just something like different. Yeah. Which, again, isn't even... That isn't even a bad thing. It just... Yeah. It's just different. It's just different enough that it's like... It's so close to being perfect, but something isn't quite there, and I can't quite yeah, place yeah, what that yeah, is either. Yeah, yeah. If you drink it, you'll see what we. Yeah, I think. At least it's nicely too. Yeah, it's a it's a very good beer. There's no doubt of that. So if you're in the area and you uh, are interested in this dinosaur that is some sort of fish thing. Yeah, I guess Reno was an ocean at one time apparently. <laughs> but they wish it was now. Full of ichthyosaurs. Um, it's very good if you're in the area. Check it out. Uh, four or five. It's mm -hmm. good stuff. I'm glad they're not there now. Cause that'd be... Well, I mean, you'd have to be in the water to... yeah. for them to even be an issue. They look dangerous. <laughs> well, based on the bone structure. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them below or send us an email. Subscribe to the channel if you like what we're doing. Until next time, cheers. Cheers indeed.